what's up? What are you doing? What's going on? You want to learn a workshop? I will show you some two hand techniques that I haven't, well, I think I haven't shown before. So, okay. <clears throat> A two-hand technique I like to use, a two-hand transfer, I guess. Is, I'll show it from I'll show it from the side. I'll show it from the side. Is when I do a downward swing, okay? So it's like a rebound and a downward swing. On this downward swing, I'm gonna bring this hand, it's gonna bounce off the thumb. So the thumb is going to do this number, it's going to rest on it, it's going to rest on it, okay? Like that. So when that happens, then I release it from here, let it go, and it's going to swing, it's probably harder to see it that way. I release it, and it's going to swing this way, do you see what I did? Swing. It's really doing like a, like kind of like a, a rolling stop around that finger because it's going one full rotation around your thumb. So, okay, I'll start it over. Start it over, okay. Damn it. Okay. So from here, I catch it. Okay, let me do it again. I'm here, catch it, and when I catch it, this happens. See what just happened? It's hard to show this and not do it fast. Okay. Should have showed what it looks like. I'll show you what it looks like first. Yeah, I, I should have done that. There. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. There, did you see that? Did you see what happened? So that is a two hand transfer that looks kind of crazy because it does, it goes like this, and then I release it, then it goes around the thumb like that, then I catch it here, and from here it goes back around. So it's kind of like a double whammo. I don't, I don't know what to call it. I don't have a word. I don't have a name. It happens so fast, but there it is right there. See that? Kind of like a ping pong type of thing. Ha! Okay, so now you saw that. I'll show you. I'll show you another one. Let me see. I'll show you one of my infamous rebounds, two hand rebounds, but a way that you will not hurt yourself because it, it kind of hurts if you don't know what you're doing. So a way to not hurt yourself, yeah, is if you're going to rebound over the top of your opposite hand, make that hand palm down, palm face down. That way it hits your hand and not the opposite and it won't like hit your knuckles so if you're going this way make sure your hands are like this right like that like that like that if you're going upward flip your hand this way so that way you hit your palm and you won't be hitting your knuckles yeah so if you're going upward make your hand go up like this if it's going the opposite way, down, down, down. See what I did? See? See? Did you learn something? <clears throat> Those are very important. Those are good to learn. Uh, learn. <laughs> Those are good to know. Uh, I don't have a lot of time. Let me think. What else was I going to do? What else was I gonna? Oh, I know what I'll show you. I'll show you.
the Neosonic. I'll show you what it looks like, but I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. Let me go and point down. I don't know if you can see it this way. Can you see it this way? I didn't plan, I didn't prepare. Okay, that looks kind of better. Okay, so on this last copycat, I did something where I ended my trick like this. I had I had low grip, and from low grip, I went like this, and I went to high grip. So from low grip, it went to high grip. See what's happening? I'm, I was uh, told that that's probably called a neosonic. Matt does it a lot. I'm gonna show you what it looks like static, so you can see it because it happens so fast. So from low. The chord goes like this, and then you catch it on high. Low, high. See what happened? You picking up what I'm putting down? Not like that. Ha! Okay, I'll show you again. Like that. See what happened? Like that. I'll show you again. That's a fun one. I don't know what to call those. I just call them transfers. The beat is kind of floating in, in your hand as the chord is just swinging in and out of your fingers like so, like so. I might have showed you this once before in the past in an old workshop that I did back in the day. But this is a move that I saw Matt bringing back. I know he's done it before. But he's doing like a single grip examples of things you can do with single grip. I don't know if this really qualifies as a single grip because you are changing grip. I don't, I don't know the rules. I don't, I don't know if maybe the rules have been amended because when we did the single grip last couple of times, well, the first time there was no aerials allowed. You couldn't do this. Even if you caught in the same grip, you couldn't do that. Now you can. So maybe that's a new rule about this uh, transfers where if you switch, don't quote me on this, I don't really know. I'm just guessing. But if you're switching grips like so, to me, I think that's like a grip change, but if it goes back to the same grip, I guess it's allowed. Because if you can have, if you can have a standard grip, you can have an outside grip, it's still allowed for the single grip. So if you're doing single grip this year, check with the rules first but it might be allowed. But if it is or if it isn't, I've already seen that kind of tease on, on doing that trick. And another one I saw was like a multiple aerial where you just, or you keep catching the same grip, but you're out of frame. When I do aerials, I get out of frame, dude. I can only start over. So like, one like this, you see what I did? Like that, like that, like that. It's all the same grip. Multiple aerials, all in the same grip. That might be cool. I don't really know. I don't know how, how it's gonna turn out this year. But if it's like that, that would be a cool, uh, thing to play around with for your submission. I don't remember what grip I did last time. I think the first time around I just did a high grip 
I did everything of high grip that I could think of doing. Second time around, I think I used, was it mid grip? I have to look back on that because I don't remember what I did. Uh, I'm not sure when the single grip open is going to start, but it should be starting up pretty soon. I like to uh, have a double, a two hand open where you do a lot of two hand stuff because I do a lot of two hand stuff. But then who else is gonna do the two hand stuff? You know what I'm saying? It would be cool. Or like just one of aerials. Cause there's people that can do crazy aerials. my thing. Ah, oh, why'd I do that? Why'd I do that? I wasn't trying to do that. <laughs> I was not trying to do that. Let's try to light it. Oh, that's cool. Can you even see that? I'm oh, behind the bag. Wait. brightness.
People are calling slides drops. I've always called them slides because I just slide like so. To me, that's a slide, dude. I guess that's a drop too if you do it from a. If you do it like. What, what was that? Uh, pin? What was it called? Threading the needle, yeah. Threading, okay, threading the needle. Ah, see what I can do. See if I can do with this set. Believe it or not, there's some tricks that are harder on certain sets than they should be. But that's why when you do copycats, if you do them, it's good to like practice on multiple sets to find out which one you can actually land the trick on. Okay, wait. No. Why is this not? Okay. It's like sat, it's like so, it's like sat. I can't, I'm trying to mix words. I'm trying to say one word, but then I think of another and then I say it wrong. <clears throat> it's like, well, it's not like that. <laughs> Wait, this is, this is a horrible live. If you're watching it, I apologize. It's not one of my best. Okay, wait. Like that, there it is. Yeah, dude, I cut my hair, look. Cut it, it's short. <laughs> so I'm trying to thread the needle. No, no, no. Bear with me, yeah? Okay. That's almost it. I keep forgetting to do like this. Like you have to do this number. Wait. There, I think I got it. Yeah. I got it. That was me. I did that. That was all me. I get my sets from the floor. <laughs> what again? Short for the winter, long for the summer. <laughs> I guess. I, I'm in Texas. We don't have much of a of a winter here, so. <laughs> Oh no! Little bit made a doo doo. <laughs> oh no! Okay, I better go. I have my my motherly duties to my chihuahua, so I gotta go. Thank you for watching. I'm gone.